two things I want to show you in this video. My favorite camping chair that I discovered. It's my favorite. And then I'm going to show you the floor liner and my recommendations along with that. Enjoy. Hey, in case you're in case you're wondering what chair I use, I love this chair. It's like a it's like a, a hammock. Um, I got it from Sam's Club, and it's a Members Mark brand. It, it, it's it's so nice. I I bought two of them. And they were about forty bucks each. Don't tell my wife. And. Uh, I, I set one up and just thought I need a couple more of these for the rest of my family and so I went to go get some more and they're all gone and I've never seen them since so I should check online they probably have them online but um, they fold up they fold up here's the second one I have they just fold up into this bag so it's really impressive really comfortable you can pull these straps here and it can, it can, you know, have you can sit up. Um, if you want to lean back further, though, you just release them, and you can lean pretty far back. But uh, thought I'd share that with you. Hey, so we've had, we've had a lot of customers, to my surprise, ask why we don't have a floor liner in here. I've got a 10 by 14 uh, floor liner, and uh, this is, this is what it looks like. You can see the difference in this video. You can see before here, and then you can see after. But I just put it under the, the stove uh, mat, the heat mat, and I, uh, you can see it doesn't go all the way to the end. I got a towel there because there's snow out, so I kind of wipe my feet off that. But um, yeah, it definitely makes it, it definitely, adds to it definitely makes it feel more cozy more like uh, glamping if you will so i got to thinking about this floor liner the floor liner i think really that's ideal for this 12 by 12 besides a 12 by 12 they don't make the 12 by 12 so i think the best size really is the 10 by 10 and that's model 1571 and if you think about it if you've got a 12 by 12 footprint and you're putting that down you're only going to have dead space one foot around the perimeter. And I don't find that I do much walking right next to the edge of the tent. So I think the 10 by 10 is ideal. This demo has a 10 by 14 because that's, that's what I have. Um, I don't have a 10 by 10 floor liner. So that's what this shows. I would go with the 10 by 10. Keep in mind it has grommets every 24 inches around the perimeter of any of the floor liners. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do me a favor and hit the like button. If you have any comments, please comment below. And stay tuned next week. I plan on doing a video with the wall enclosure for the, the uh, lodge tent. Really excited about that. I've never seen it yet. Um, I'm excited about it because it's all canvas. It's attachable and detachable from the tent. So that should be a lot of fun. And as soon as that's ready, I will have a link below for you.